Wednesday morning views from Cooper Island in the British Virgin Islands. Beautiful clear sky here, really not seeing much in the way of showers, thunderstorms and wind like what we have seen in previous days. Take a look at this beautiful sign here. Uh, some fair weather cumulus clouds, the beautiful blue sky and a beautiful blue water. Some lush vegetation as well. Let's get right to that Doppler Max. So we're not seeing anything right now in terms of watches, warnings or advisories. So a nice looking end of the week here before more rain showers push in for weekend. Let's get right to the satellite here for the Caribbean. Further off to the east, this is our large storm system. We were kind of tracking these previous few days, but it's pushed offshore now and not really impacting too much in the way of land masses here for the Caribbean. Down to the south in Central America, the ABC Islands, Venezuela, Trinidad, Tobago, all seeing more of those showers and storms. Nicaragua points northward, staying dry. Cuba, Belize, Bahamas, all looking like a fantastic end to your work week as well. Further off to the east towards our region, we can see that the circul circulating low pressure system pushes off to the east and it takes the shower hours and storms with it, but still some lingering ones, especially for the southern half of Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, as well as Haiti. Those are the spots that could be seeing more of those showers, a few more of them down through Central America in Trinidad and Tobago. We head through our future cast. This is for Thursday. A couple of showers and storms looking to develop, especially down into St. Croix. I think we'll stay dry for the most part here off to the north. We head for our dinner time. Things really continue to clear on out in terms of additional rainfall amounts. St. Croix, best chance to be getting a little soak in here through our Thursday. St. Thomas, St. John, a lesser chance, especially further off to the north and the east. And our winds, not our typical easterlies, they're actually more out of the north right now. As we head through the afternoon hours, they do eventually turn a little bit more east. And that'll be as we continue into Friday. But light winds for the most part, too. The green, the yellow. That green shading really not showing much of that, and that does imply that the winds will be lighter for the most part, only really gusting around 15 miles per hour. The easterly is finally starting to return with no wind. Really don't get much in the way of wave action either. Deeper shades of blue from St. John all the way to St. Thomas to the Puerto Rico coastline. So larger waves really going to be just kind of held at bay way off to the north, way off to the east where we start to see those lighter shades of blue and that continues even into our Friday and into our weekend. Saturday looking like a decent boating day, maybe getting a little bit larger those waves as we head for the tail end of the weekend. Let's get right to our Thursday forecast 83 85 degrees, a little bit cooler than what we are accustomed to. We're talking about that northerly wind that's going to kind of evict some colder air from the United States into our region. USVI five day forecast Thursday, Friday, Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. We head for Saturday and Sunday. Those rain chances will be on the increase once more, looking like a 40, 60% chance. So the better chance comes tail end of the weekend into early next week. And on the back side, those rain chances still elevated. We head for Monday. Could see some peaks of sunshine, but it could spark a few in the way of some thunderstorms. So a couple of showers these next few days, but the better chance for rain, Tracy, will come late weekend into early next week. All right, thanks for that.